Hello, my name is Paul. My name is Sam, and this is our AI Counseling Service. Since the start of the pandemic, counseling services have become harder and harder to do. In-person meetings, management, completing tasks, scheduling, and more have all become significantly more difficult to accomplish. Now, college applications have skyrocketed, and the differentiation of one person to another has made it harder to stand out. Apart from that, these services are also extremely expensive and only available to those who can afford it. The average college counseling service is over $1,000, while we offer a cheaper and affordable $100 per year. We, AI Counseling Services, want to make college counseling an option everyone can have. The counseling will help with time management, scheduling, and help find opportunities. The algorithm will assess the user, adapt and create a plan for productivity and success, and help develop the user's profile while continuing to make them stand out. Here is an example of what the software would do. The AI counseling would interactively adapt and continue planning the user's path moving forward. It will add, remove, and change tasks according to the user's ongoing schedule, adapting to what is needed. The AI will use its learning capabilities to understand the user's needs and make the schedule management as optimal as well as easy to continue. Here is a strategy canvas showing AI counseling compared to a regular in-person. To start off with, AI counseling's weaknesses compared to its counterpart is the lack of inter interaction and feedback. This is due to the switch from in-person to a machine that responds only to specific questions that can be answered logically. One advantage to have lower on the chart is the price to pay for our services. Moving on to all the advantages, AI counseling will be able to perform better in its assistance to students, accessibility, trustworthiness, the ease to use, resources it provides, help with motivation, and personalization. This is all due to the AI learning algorithms that keep that our services utilize to automatically make a step-by-step -step process for our customers to succeed. Our current customer base involves those who are currently using counselors to help them succeed. Our tier one customers are those who cannot afford in-person counseling, but want to have counseling. Tier two customers are those who don't trust in-person counseling. And tier three are those who do not need counseling in his or her current time. For our service, we plan to target the tier one and two non-customers, making them our potential customers as we, as we provide lower prices and a trustworthy machine as a basis for incorporating these customers into our current market. Currently, regular counseling is focused on maximizing their convenience of use as it becomes harder to meet in person during the time of COVID. Meanwhile, our services come with that problem solved that is already fully online and easily accessible. All we are looking to better ourselves in are the productivity area for our final plan and motivation to follow. We are always striving to maximize the simplicity in our apps and websites, whether it be the interface or the aesthetics. Moving on to the ERR secret, we're hoping to eliminate the usage of people in terms of feedback and communication with the customer, reduce the time, price and time spent looking for resources, raise the accessibility, simplicity, personalization, success rate, and assistance to our customers. We also hope to create AI incorporation into conventional counseling. Here's a graph showing our market potential. With the current pandemic ongoing, we are expecting a lot of users since it is cheap and affordable, as well as accessible for most people. With the cost of the average user services to be around $100 per year, we are expecting 100,000 customers during our first year of operation. Each year, we are expecting exponential growth and reaching year four, we are expecting 10 million customers and $1 billion in revenue. Thank you for listening to our pitch.